literally just spent like 20 minutes looking for this and it was behind my phone all along. That's great. Okay, hi guys. Yeah, um, I gotta change to my hair. I dyed it a little bit. That's it's not so noticeable. It really isn't noticeable, but yeah, I dyed it. Um, that's all I have to say about that. But I've been wanting to dye it for like years now, so thank God. Um, yeah, basically since the last time I filmed the other video, I've been feeling a lot more happier. And I mean, I do know why, but I just don't want to say yet. But yeah. <laughs> But besides being happy, a lot of people have been on the inside, you know, because of quarantine and all of that bullshit. And yeah, I'm just here to sit with you guys and talk to you guys about Corona. <laughs> now, I don't think I can say the name even though I just said it. We'll see if this video gets taken out. But let's just call it the virus. So many of you guys know the origins and all of that. So let's just talk about its effects in our country. Um really it's not a not important to you know some of you guys you know how it affects our country or whatever because now most of us are adults per se so most of us are making money you know from like i guess like jobs um but it is affecting our family to a certain extent that like you know there's adults there um that are you know working and some of them are you know having to take time off of work to avoid the spread of the disease but there are also like essential workers or first responders i think that's what it's called basically the people that need to be working in order to keep our economy intact or else things will just collapse and go to hell um but yeah as of right now we've been out of school for like two weeks um it sucks it really does suck um i miss a lot of my friends but i have you know been you know being mindful that this is very serious and that you know there is a lot of people out there who are you know being affected heavily and that are sick and um i don't know what it's called immunocompromise i think it's called <laughs> i could be wrong but like those people like they their immune systems are not like you know strong enough to just fight the disease by itself and it's unfortunate and some of us are fortunate enough and lucky enough, you know, to, you know, fight it off, hopefully. But you never know. It's the strand of, you know, the virus is very, very, um, very, um, I don't know, unpredictable. For Tony here, um, I wanted to say unpredictable mainly because, you know, a lot of us believe that it was only going to affect, like, I guess, elderly people. But really, it's affecting a, large, a larger, you know, variety of people, not just elderly people. And some people weren't aware of that. And so that's why I call it, or deem it unpredictable rather than, you know, anything else. Um, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, like, you know, just talk to you guys about this because, you know, it's serious. Now, um, I feel like it's not something that I'm just going to, you know, like avoid on my channel i did talk about it a little bit in my past videos but i just want to like advise everybody like yes you're gonna hear it a thousand times but actually listen like some people will listen but it goes out the other ear wash your hands don't touch your face i know i touch my face a lot in my videos but i mean i know my hands are clean whenever i do it um but yeah like follow those precautions practice social distancing we shouldn't have to be on lockdown to understand and to like you know be able to practice such things um like if you see family members and all that going to the park you know doing all this like yeah it's fun to go to the park yeah you're tired of being in the house but please stay inside like even like if you need to go to the grocery store it's way better that um it's way better that at least like the least amount of people go to the grocery store in your family like only like two people per se don't take your whole family like that just you know rises to like the amount of spread and all of that and it's just a whole you know domino effect i honestly care about every single one of y'all that watch this video and i just honestly need you guys to be safe because this is not a joke under any circumstances and i feel like 
some of us are, you know, we can joke about it. We can make memes about it. But we also need to take the safety precautions if we're going to joke about it. Um, yeah, but that's all I have to say. Sorry, I became so serious. I never am serious. These videos are never are serious. But um, I just need to tell you guys about this because it's just like, you know, like, I don't have such a big platform. But, I mean, I have something, you know, like a base for people to listen to. Um, so, yeah, I'm just using this right now as an example, you know, like even me the person who's not the most serious of all people like is worried um i'm concerned it's a it's a big problem it's a pandemic it's, it's honestly like scary to hear um i worry about like my grandparents i worry about my older you know relatives like they are all compromised like their immune system cannot handle like something as serious and severe as corona people who are out there you know living their lives normally and pretending like nothing has happened are ignorant like you're not thinking about the other people who are at risk yeah but that is all i wanted to talk about today guys i'm sorry this video was you know took a serious turn again but um i see you guys in the next video and i swear i'll be doing an unboxing and haul of all the things that i you know ordered online during this time um yeah but just to encourage you guys to stay inside and watch my videos um, but um yeah like form have some form of entertainment <laughs> but yeah bye guys thank you